Good morning to all traders and welcome to this Monday's Market Designs video. It is the 7th of December today. Last week we had equities reaching new highs again on Friday. The S&P was supported. Uh, I would assume, well, there is actually a hopes of a new US stimulus bill that could indeed come as early as today and that might have an effect on the uh, stocks as, uh, as, the, big, as the week uh, begins. Uh, but uh, when it comes to last week, we've also had the uh, equities being uh, supported by energy stocks, as we have seen, of course, the OPEC plus Russia uh, come into an agreement regarding oil production being resumed, finally, from early uh, uh, January. Now, uh, we are also um, really need to pay attention to what's happening around Brexit. We have had the uh, talks uh, being cancelled last Friday. They continued on Sunday yesterday. There seems to be um, a lot of concerns as the UK cabinet seems to be supporting uh, Boris Johnson uh, in case, of course, uh, he would uh, decide to leave the EU without a deal. And that said, there is now uh, today again a vote on whether they should bring these pieces of legislation that would make the internal bill illegal or not. So it's a very important day for the UK as well. Uh, I, I would actually say the week is important uh, and also for the Europe because we have the ECB also uh, talking about their interest rate decision. And they're most likely with the EU summit, um, you know, we are probably going to hear whether they will up their game when it comes to the bond buying program. Meanwhile, Chinese data keep improving and this is expected since they were the first to get away uh, from the post uh, in the post-COVID era and the uh, economy is uh, actually performing quite well. And lately we have had also news that Huawei is going to invest in China chip groups because obviously we've had the trade war and there is sanctions uh, that they need to take into consideration when working with the US. So we might see uh, Chinese manufacturing uh, improving even more than we would have expected. Now, I want to get started with the US index. Okay, Last week, we talked about the US index reaching the 9063-62 area. This is a cluster of waves 1 and 2 and wave 4 and the low here. Is it one and two? And the other one is, oh yes, the A and B over here, yeah. So that was a good cluster. So here's what I'm expecting now. With this signal uh, coming up on the MACD, I'm expecting to see a wave four, yeah, then a wave five. This is going to be primary wave three. Then I want to see wave four and wave five because I am looking at wave five of three as an ending diagonal right as we said last time so i'm expecting an abc and another abc for five that is like to take us down to 89.76 okay and then from there we can expect potentially right uh, a pullback in wave primary four now the smp uh, moved uh, as expected we talked about this becoming a triangle it's either that it ended down here and we're going to see a continuation up to wave c or we might see another move to the downside, complete the A, B, C, D, E over here, yes, and then would B would be here, and then we're going to move higher. Now, if we take waves one and two, we did 35, 38, 100 Fibonacci in wave three. That seems to suggest that it's a very good chances that we're going to see um, wave two and three in terms of four, also delivering a hundred Fibonacci. This is near the 4,000 mark, actually above, right? And also seems to be a very good cluster with a 161 Fibonacci extension of waves one and two, right? So I will be looking at 37, 10, 38, 47, and then finally the 40, 21, in order to consider this as a good selling opportunity. And that, of course, needs to be supported by the MACD and the RSI, okay? The other scenario we talked about last week is that this potentially could tend to be uh, an ABC right, a running flat, right? So the potential uh, upside on this uh, scenario would be 38.49, okay? Not higher than that. 
Now a quick look on the UK's FTSE. Last week we talked about where well, we're down here. Actually, we talked about that we're expecting another move to the upside because we wanted to take this out. And indeed, that has been the case now, 65.26. Also, if we take a look at this Fibonacci extension, wave W and X, uh, 61.8, brings us to 65.84, which is exactly where prices are heading to as we speak, right? Now, since this is a double uh, correction over here, it's very possible that we might see prices uh, going up to 70, uh, 68.81. This is the 78.6 uh, Fibonacci extension doubles. Of w and x okay and uh, the maximum I, i'm looking at this actually would be the 7k figure okay from there definitely looking for prices to move lower it could be a pullback and a continuation up or if it's indeed this is wave four then we are looking for another move to the downside and this move is going to take us below the uh 4.7 or so k yeah and chinese index quickly we talked about this last week, we're down here. I'm looking at this as an ending diagonal, as I uh, expressed my opinion before uh, last week. Waves two and three, four, yeah, with the extension in mind, with the pullback in mind, bring 100 Fibonacci to, uh, to the 1781, okay? So this is the, the level I'm looking uh, to start, at least to consider a pullback down to, uh, to previous multi-month lows, at least the... Uh, uh, on around the 15k, I would say, which is the uh, intermediate wave for right, but most likely it's very possible that we we'll get down uh, here, okay? Because uh, as you remember, this is a, a wave C in primary degree, right? So actually, no, I will be looking at. I will tell you exactly, okay? Uh, if we end here, we're probably looking at the uh, 14k, okay? Because we don't really want to go below uh, wave one, okay? Around the 14K, just a that higher, okay? So this will be all for the week, for the day actually, but for the week when it comes to the indices, I will speak again to do tomorrow, possibly for a market design video related to the FX majors.